Hello and good morning. I am looking a super hot mess. Um, I've been kind of like chomping through our house, trying to get things reorganized and resettled and things like that because I've had five kids in my house over the summer and these last few weeks before Henry goes back to school, I'm trying to do my best at going through all the unseen spaces of our house that really need to be reorganized so that the places that you can see are like organized, if that makes sense. That way I have like more space to put things that need to be put away and it's not just like hanging out on our countertops and tabletops and things like that. So that has been the mission. Um, but it's funny because last night I like deep cleaned because on top of that, I also just found out that I have struck for the third time, um, which is like a very small detail, but still has some importance to mention. I also found out yesterday that my daughter has struck for the second time. So it's floating around our house somehow. I actually looked it up to see how long strep is supposed to be able to like live on surfaces and it says months, months. So last night I deep, deep cleaned our floors just to like really heavy duty mop them. I actually even bought the Lysol in wash like for your, like you put it in your washer with your clothes to help like wash, you know, help disinfect your clothing and things like that. So I've been doing that with all of our sheets and just like all of our things, everything that we've been using. I also used it to mop the floor last night, but with that, I pulled up the runner that we have in like the walkway to our living room and like towards our front door. And I like soaked it in the tub full of that and like some dishwashing, like some dish soap, like Dawn and soaked it. And as I was sitting there doing that, I was like, man, this would be so satisfying to like film and watch because it's just really nasty. It's amazing how gross things get so quickly because it's really not that old of a runner, but it, it was really gross. So um, anyways, I did that last night and I was like, man, I should be filming this, but I didn't, sorry. Um, but I have that outside in the sun to dry because it's just, it needs that. And so I'm just slowly ticking away at our home on top of the fact that I'm trying to just sanitize everything um, so we can kick this, get rid of it. I'm tired of it. It's chaotic. It's actually called resilient, oh wait, persistent strep. It's called persistent strep. It happens um, and it's annoying. I've <laughs> never in my life had anything like it, but I'm tired of it. So anyway, we have T-ball tonight, which is partially why I wanted to hop on and start filming. It's Tuesday, the 6th, August 6th. So um, we have T-ball tonight. Originally there was an excessive heat warning. And um, so we were kind of thinking it was gonna get canceled, which he's had, he was supposed to have had at this point five different T-ball sessions. And he's only actually been to one because there's been heavy rain or excessive heat. So it's been canceled um, all but once. So we were kind of thinking the same thing was gonna happen today, but my husband actually called me like an hour or so ago and he was like, it actually isn't supposed to be quite as hot as they were expecting it to, so there's a chance it might not be canceled. So fingers crossed, we actually have that to go to tonight. And then also this weekend, my mother-in-law has been slowly ticking away at collecting things to do an outdoor projected movie night. So. I think what the plan is going to be is they actually recently unearthed their home videos from when my my husband was growing up and they've been converting those onto DVDs because they were originally on VHS, VHSs. Um, and so they've been converting those onto DVDs. So they were getting ready to have like kind of like all my, my husband has two other siblings. So he's one of three and each of his siblings also has three children. So we're the only family of his nuclear siblings that has two children if that makes any sense at all so anyways they she was kind of like hoping to get everybody together and have like a fun outdoor movie night she's bought tents she bought blow up pools um light up blankets she brought a giant pro projector screen um a projector like she's been just like buying all these different things so i figured um she finally set a date for it which is going to be this weekend so i figured that would be kind of fun to share with you guys to see how it all kind of comes to fruition for her um i think she also wants to watch the narnia movies or at least a narnia movie I'm not exactly sure how much we'll be able to actually stay for because briar is very 
young. She's very little. And so um, I'm just not really sure how that's gonna play out. But we'll see how it goes. But I wanted to jump on here and start another vlog. Once school starts, I'm gonna start getting back into my more um, structured videos that I have been trying to film recently. But right now it's kind of like a day-to-day -day basis. We're kind of just seeing how we goes along. I'm also trying to spend the last few days um, with my son before he goes back to school. We're trying to make sure we're, sorry, there's like a bus. Um, we're just trying to make sure that we're spending a lot of good family quality time before he actually has to go back to school. So that is the goal, which is why I'm not really like planning super structured videos, but I do have some ideas that I plan to film once, you know, things kind of start to level back out. All that being said, welcome to my week. Happy Tuesday. Glad you're here. update you about yesterday because it I stopped abruptly there's a story to it um but I'm gonna jump in the shower before I do that but I wanted to go ahead and show you what I've been doing this week in order to kind of try try as loosely to stay on top of the things that I'm trying to get done this week so um Monday I made a to-do list of all the things that I or I think I might have started that Sunday I made oops I'm sorry I'm not even showing you I made a to-do list of all the things that I wanted to get done for Monday, and then Monday night I made a list for Tuesday. Um, I haven't actually gone all the way through this to see what all I've gotten done or whatever, but whatever I didn't get done yesterday, I just made myself a list to do today um, just to try to continue on with what I was talking about with trying to get things sanitized um, and just tidied and cleaned up and ready to go for the school season to start, which we are, I don't know, let me see, one, two, we've got about a week and a half left of summer vacation before, some, before school starts. So we do have a few, few days um, to try to get stuff done, but I wanted to try to stay on task and chip away at it a little bit at a time. Um, so that we're all ready to go. So anyways, long story long, um, I wanted to go ahead and show you what I've been doing to try and stay on task here. Um, and I, I oftentimes do this sometimes less than I, I, less than usual, but either which way. Um, and then there's some things like on here that I did yesterday that I actually like didn't put on this. So something big that I did was I tackled all of our baseboards and, um, door frames and doors and all that kind of stuff. I really went through and like sanitized all of those and like really cleaned them. Um, so I didn't, I don't have that on this list here, but that was something that took a lot of time actually yesterday. So anyways, all of that being said, I've talked about it a little bit here and there on my channel, but I am somebody who has ADHD. And so trying to stay on task and get the things that are in my brain done this just really helps me. So anyways, I'm going to go jump in the shower before Briar wakes up. So that way I have some time to hopefully get a few things on my list done after showering. So anyways, I wanted to start by saying hello. Happy Wednesday. This has been how I've planned my week since it's been kind of a busier week around the house. Um, welcome to it. Okay. An official hello and good morning. It's still Wednesday. Um, I just got myself a tall glass of water because I need to take my antibiotics still and I didn't want to forget, but I wanted to also spend a minute to tell you about last night because I kind of just dropped off. Also, I do apologize for still having a t-shirt on my hair. It, it needs it. It's really, my hair is super thick, so it just needs that extra soakage without it being a towel. Towel's really not good for my hair. What's up? Um, I just took my antibiotic, by the way. So, um, last night, around three, 
uh, it started getting really cloudy, which I think I might have commented on that just a little bit. Um, it started really rolling in some clouds, but I looked at the weather and it said, you know, cloudy for like the next half an hour and then it's going to be sunny again. Well, so my husband came home and he was like, have you heard anything about T-ball? And we were like, no, I like, haven't heard anything. So we went ahead and had dinner and... I finally got the text message probably a little bit before four of them saying like, it's a go, like it should be cooler at this point. So like, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Mind you, it's been like 90, I think yesterday the high was like 96 or 98 degrees, one of the two. So they're like, it should be cooler at this point, yada, yada. So I went ahead and went on my walk and when I was on my walk, it was still super cloudy. Um, the sun was like almost trying to make its appearance, but it was like still like super cloudy rolling, like still more clouds rolling in, but it was so breezy and it was like a cool breeze and it was not nearly as hot. I think whenever I actually got back from my walk, I looked and it was like 82 degrees. So it was like really cooled off. So it was a beautiful walk. It was lovely. So then, um, we, I checked to see what time because it, his T-ball can either be at six or it can be at seven. And we found out it was at seven. Um, so we got the kids ready to go. And when we went to T-ball, it was starting to mist every, ever so slightly. Um, and it just misted the whole entire time. And by the time that I actually looked at the weather, it was 72 degrees and it was super breezy. So with a mist and a cool breeze and it was 72 degrees, it was like darn right cold. So, um, Briar was like running all around <laughs> trying to keep herself warm and just being a toddler. So I'm like spent all this time trying to entertain her. And so I really didn't film anything from T-ball, which I had planned to do. So I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to do that because I, <laughs> I didn't. That was the case. Beautiful. It's still, I think I saw that the high for today was supposed to be like 82 degrees. So a little bit warmer than it was last night, but it's still super nice and it's totally comfortable to have the windows open to air it out. So that's where we are today. I just got out of the shower, as you can tell. I need to brush my hair and put some products in my hair. drying my hair as you probably saw um I was gonna try to wrap it and I might still do that later but I wanted to start my hair off with a good blow dry um, because it usually lasts longer um, throughout the week whenever I do that because I only really like to wash my hair one time a week um, at the max like two to three it sounds crazy I mean I'll shower everything else obviously but my hair is so coarse and thick and dry naturally just dry that I don't like to overwash it <clears throat> and I've spent a good chunk of my life my adult life training my hair to last longer without it being washed because of those reasons and it actually I think it, it handles it pretty well but it handles it even better whenever I blow dry it I think so I went ahead and just did that that was a long long explanation but there you go um, Rob texted me that he wants to just grab something out for dinner tonight, um, just to save us some time and, you know, all of that. And then we need to also grocery shop, so that'll probably also be happening this afternoon. So, I wanted to give that little update. I'm going to put you up here because it's a lot easier for me to talk to you whenever you're up this way. My skin is trying to freak out, and I think it's because I've been on antibiotics. I think I've read that that can affect that area but you know I don't know whatever it's still so gorgeous out my hair feels so soft I actually ended up using my daughter's so my daughter has an honest honest and company yeah honest and company detangler that is um I think it's called like dreamsicle or something along those lines something like orange vanilla smells so good um, but I felt like it was drying her hair out because she's got this like rat's nest in the back of her head. I don't know if I've talked about this very much, but she's got this rat's nest type situation on the back of her head. 
from her, you know, like rubbing on her bed sheets or the couch or her car seat, things like that. And it just like gets really dry and matted back there. So I'm always like using a bunch of detangler on it. Well, whenever I started using the Addison Company detangler on it, I felt like it was making it more dry. It felt really like straw most of the time. Um, but then I made the switch to Suave detangler and that's gotten a lot better. I'm going into a lot more detail than I need to, but basically I can't find the Suave anywhere for whatever reason. I'm sure it's hidden somewhere to be honest with you, but I went ahead and used that. And then I used the <laughs> and then I used the John Frieda frizzing defrizz oil or something like that. I'll have to show it to you in just a little bit. And my hair feels so soft. I usually use my Align, which I shared about in my my favorites video from Ju May and June, I think is what it was. Um, and I tr like truly, truly stay by, like stand by that stuff. It is amazing. It helps my hair so much. Um, but I didn't use it because originally I wasn't planning on blow drying my hair. Um, but all I used was those two products and my hair is so soft and healthy feeling. It's like next to silky, which my hair is never really quite that soft. Um, because like I said, it's very coarse and thick as you can probably tell. So anyway, now that I'm like, I can't stop touching my hair. Um, that's the case. I really didn't make any more headway in our kitchen, to be frank with you. Um, I don't really know what I did. I got my daughter up from her nap, which you probably just heard her running around in the kitchen here. And um, I got her some lunch, got my son some lunch, and you know, have been doing the thing. We spent some time outside. So a little bit of time has passed since I had last updated you, but it's 1.30 now. My husband gets off in about an hour. And then we'll see how the rest of the day unfolds. I'm not really sure, like I said, I think I have a rough estimate as to what's gonna happen for the rest of the evening, but you just really never know. So that is the case. I pretty much got next to nothing done off my list today, which that's okay because I've got tomorrow. I'm not gonna stress too much about it. So anyways, there's my afternoon check-in. <laughs> okay, pardon the wind. Of course, as soon as I come outside, it starts getting windy. Um, we just got back from going to High Point, which is really like ironic because I'm wearing the t-shirt. Um, we went there for dinner. We did an early dinner, thankfully. It's the way I like to do it usually. Um, and now I am starting out on my walk. Um, so I have my headphones and I'm just gonna walk for a little bit. It's a really good day for it because the sun, it, it's like pretty overcasty as you can probably tell from the video. So, and it's breezy. So it's just a beautiful day, perfect for walking. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will check back in in a minute with you. Okay, so we just got home and I put Briar to bed and I'm currently sipping on. <laughs> one of these Capri Sun off-brand things from Aldi, just cause it tastes good. So I wanted to show you, I got some candles because we're running low on candles and I really like to have them obviously around, just generally anyways. But also um, I'm just feeling the fall vibes and so is my husband who was like, we need to get some more candles. Ugh, this bag would cooperate at all, hello. So we ended up getting like mostly fall ones, but I didn't get them because of the way they look. I got them because of the way that they smelled, even though some of them are really festive. So I'll start with this one just because it's lid is already popping off. So I actually, I got these from TJ Maxx. I don't know if I mentioned that at all, but this one's called Deep Cave and it says it's cinnamon leaf and pumpkin. And let me tell you, it smells exactly like if you like Marshmallow Fireside by Bath and Body Works. That is exactly what this one smells like. Um, and it's by Modern Alchemy. Bougie Parfum. Oh well. So um, it just smells, it smells just like it, like identical. It smells really good. It's got that smoky smell that it has. So I got that one, I really liked it. I also got this one. These are all, um, these two are both by DW home which I really like so we got this apple honey butter which is just like a really good apple-y fall smell 
It's it just smells delightful. That's chocolate. Mm, smells so good. I've always liked that scent. So we got that one. And then lastly, I bought this one, which it has this fun little lid. Um, but it, ha it says this on the under underneath side, but it's called Fright Night and it smells. <sighs> okay, so this is one of those ones that I can't really explain. It has a description, cedar, amber, and sandalwood combined with spiced herbs and green apple over, I don't know how to say that. Holly Bonham, Holly Bonham, and vanilla. I don't really know what that smells like. That's word, how to say it, any of the things. But there you go. They all just kind of smell good. They have that like good fall smell that I really like. So that has been nice. Currently, Briar is still taking her medicine as I've mentioned. So I had to give her some ibuprofen because she's started to kind of get a slight temperature and I didn't want her to have a hard time sleeping. So I have this rack from whenever both of my kids have been obviously growing up and having bottles and things like that, that I now keep it for all of our Ninico nipples. This looks kind of funky for some reason. I'm gonna put that in the dishwasher. But anyway, um, I pulled this out. I need to go through it obviously. Some of these things I don't need anymore, and I was really looking for ones that match. Words are hard right now, it's getting late. My brain's not wanting to work properly. Basically all I'm getting at is I was going through this. I'm gonna finish going through it and put it back where I keep it <clears throat> because I'm having a hard time finding the right things for it. It's long story long. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's eight o'clock, <laughs> I can feel it. Um, but I wanted to check in before the night came to an actual end. Good morning. I just got up. I'm still wearing my High Point t-shirt. Um, I just got the breakfast to the kids, medicine to Briar, and my coffee poured. And I'm going to go and sit and hang out with them while they're eating and just try to enjoy the morning. I actually just opened up all the windows and doors because it's another beautiful morning. Nice and cool, low humidity. So try to air out the house again because it smells so good. There's nothing like the smell of the house that is like being aired out. It just smells so nice. My husband walked in yesterday and was like, it smells so good in here. I was like, I know it. So anyways, good morning. Happy Thursday. Welcome to it. Okay, so a little bit of a check-in. I just spent um, the last few hours deep cleaning the kids' toys. So I put them just in the sink with some really hot water and some of the Lysol um, in wash mix, you know, for your laundry and stuff like that, just to sanitize all the toys. So, and then whatever couldn't be like submerged in water, I just use like a Lysol wipe to really wipe it down. And um, like the bigger toys, <clears throat> I have like, I wiped that one down. But some of the bigger toys that weren't able to be wiped down, I just went ahead and laid them on this on this um, runner here and I sprayed them down really good with some microban to disinfect them all. So hopefully now all the toys done here is pretty decently disinfected. Um, they say on the third day of your medication, you need to like switch out your sheets and all of that. So I think today was a good day to go ahead and do all of that. So I'm just letting everything else like finish drying. Everything probably is more than likely dry, but I'm just gonna leave it to um, finish officially drying and then I will put everything back. But on top of that, I spent some time deep cleaning all of our cabinets. So everything, you're really close right now. Sorry about that. But everything is nice and clean. The only thing I didn't get to clean is the oven, which I do plan on doing very soon. So, but other than that, everything is decently clean. Um, but now Briar is awake and she's wanting to take a bath. I have her all stripped down. So, I'm gonna go put her in the tub and then um, we'll check in in just a little bit. She's got a crusty face, she's silly. So look at Miss Sissy's hair. It's looking a little worn down now, but this is the first time I've ever put all of her hair up, ever. And it's so cute, she's getting into stuff, but it's really looking, <laughs> it's the end of the night. She's about to be ready to go to bed. She's getting into my scrub daddies, but so precious. I have pictures of what it looked like when I first 
put it up that I will try to insert here. So no. precious. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to bed, okay? I just came up here and made Henry's bed. If it looks weird right now, the lighting's kind of unusual. And then I turned on the lights just so, so that it's kind of dim. I need to close up the windows and there's Legos all over the floor as evidence of her brother being in here, but she's going to bed now. You see my mommy? Is that you? Is that Popeye? Hi, Popeye. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put her to bed real quick. Okay, currently in my bedroom now. This is the last room of the house that I have to get anything done in. Um, and it might still just wait until tomorrow. I was gonna try and get it done before Briar went to bed, but she was she was pretty ready by the time I went downstairs after putting their room back together. So, <clears throat> feeling really good. Today was one of those days where it was just kind of like lost on me. Um, that's why I didn't really check in a whole lot. I got nearly everything I've been wanting to get done, done today. So like feeling really good about it. But at the very same time, it's just like, uh, like it's almost like my brain just like turned off and I just went today. All good things. The boys are currently downstairs watching Emperor's New Groove, which is a family favorite. And I, I was going to tidy up in here, but honestly, it's about 6.45 now and it's been kind of cloudy. So if I'm going to go on a small walk, now would be the time. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do that or not. I don't know. Also, um, Henry asked me to get him out some ice cream, so I pulled the ice cream out to let it thaw just slightly because we've been getting the Bluebell um, ice cream, and we actually got the Oreo cheesecake, which if you are a fan of Oreos, sorry, my arm is slightly shaking. If you're a fan of Oreos or if you've ever had like Oreo balls made or if you've ever made them, this Bluebell ice cream tastes just like Oreo balls. So so good my absolute favorite of all time right now like it even passes up any of the ice cream shops that we would go to to get like actual ice cream made like blizzards or whatever so good <sighs> so yeah i'm gonna go downstairs get him a little bit of his ice cream and try to decide whether or not i want to go walk really quick or if i just want to close down the house basically I don't know we'll see i'll check back in in a minute okay officially good morning my hair is looking wild as i was looking in the viewfinder here it is friday happy friday so the high here is 77 degrees that i just seen which is pretty wild so i have all the doors and windows open to air out the house a little bit more because it just feels nice um, but it's a little bit chilly at this moment i think it, it has to be somewhere in the 60s right now because i'm just like feeling a little bit cold so, I just laid Briar down for her nap. Um, I have my to-do list that I talked about last night to kind of go off of. And I still haven't even had myself some coffee yet. So, it's really early still. I think it's not even 8 o'clock yet. So, I hair like a hair in my mouth. I'm going to get myself some coffee. Get myself ready <laughs> to um, get going on the day. Tonight I need to make puppy chow because my mother-in-law is having her like movie night thing at her house and I told her I would bring puppy chow to have kind of like a sweet treat for all the kids and the adults for the party. So um, that is something that I know is going to be happening at some point tonight. Um, but we only went to Costco yesterday and we needed to also go to Aldi. So we're going to have to do the Aldi trip before I can actually do any of the puppy chow. So any which way i'm waking up chatty I, I guess but i'm gonna have myself some coffee and i will check back in just a little bit here
about one o'clock now and I, oh no, it is one o'clock actually, sorry about that. I have been sitting here looking up puppy chow recipes because there's always like the classic puppy chow, which is like a given, I'm gonna make that. But I was also looking up like different flavors and different like types and there's a million. So currently I'm mixed between doing like a s'mores puppy chow or a cookies and cream puppy chow like you know like an oreo one or there's there's some like really yummy looking ones on here there is samoa which i guess they're like they're considered muddy buddies i i don't know we always call it puppy chow but i used to make it all the time in high school so i figured it would be kind of fun and it's a good crowd pleaser so, but I was thinking, I think I might go ahead and film a completely separate video of whatever flavor I end up picking and um, you can watch it over there if you're interested. It's really simple stuff, but it's kind of fun to make and it's a really good end of summer treat. So, and it's good for the masses and we have a very large family that we're going to be feeding with it. So, pretty exciting stuff. So, I just wanted to check in. My husband said that he thinks he'll be coming home um around one so anytime now and um briar is currently laying down but she's i don't think she's actually sleeping so that's that we need to go to the grocery store and you know some little here and there type of things but um i just wanted to check in because i haven't really said much today the past two days have been kind of unusual but i wanted to make sure i'm checking in and letting you know what's going on you brushing daddy's hair? Yeah. Now you brushing Bri Bri's hair? Oh. <laughs> Mommy's hair? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Official hello and good morning. We're currently out for breakfast at First Watch. Sissy's coloring. Bubby's been coloring. We're just waiting on our food. Okay, good afternoon. I just got out of the shower and blow dried my hair. But it's like laying really flat. It doesn't really have a lot of movement right now. Um, I just opened up all the bags to the puppy chow. I filmed a separate video for that. So if you want to see how that went, I will link that above for you. But um, I have the bags open. My mother-in-law said that we could head over around four or five, but I think we're wanting to head around um, probably closer to like six or seven, but I don't know. We'll see. We're going to play it by ear. But I have all the bags open to kind of let them air out and dry. I know a lot of the recipes that I was reading said that they wanted you to, like after you're done mixing all of the toppings, lay it out and let them dry out for a couple of hours. But I made them at like nine o'clock at night and I was very tired and didn't feel like staying up any longer to put them back into the bag. And my dog cannot be trusted to not jump up there and try to eat them. So, I have the bags just sitting open. I figured that'll be fine. Honestly, they're probably just going to get mowed down tonight in just a few hours. So, I'm not trying to put that much thought into it. But, um, I'm really pleased with the way it came out. I had Briar snacking on a little bit and I had my husband try it. And he said they are both really good. So, that is kind of the plan right now. Um, yeah, that's the plan right now. We're going to be going over to my mother-in-law's for the movie night before too terribly long, and I will show you how that looks. Pretty excited to see it because she's put a lot of work and effort into it, so I'm sure it'll be great. So, see you in a little bit. Hitting the mall real quick because I placed an order for pickup and it's ready. I've arrived. Here to pick it up. All right, and now we can go to the movie night. <laughs> Water? No. Oh. Here to lay in. Hey, are you gonna put water in there? I thought there was gonna be water in there. That's what I kept trying to tell you, and you kept saying, and I'm like, Oh, that's a girl. Look at. Sleeping. I would say I like it. You know, so perfect out here right now. Hello and good morning, officially. 
Uh, this morning, my husband and I woke up. Briar was the only one at home with us last night because Henry ended up staying the night over at my in-laws to stay with his cousins. And he had an absolute blast, all the kids did. So now we're back home. We got up this morning. Rob and I went and got some Seven Brew for some coffee and went over to my mother-in-law's to pick up Henry, but also to help kind of break down the pools and help tidy up and, you know, all that kind of stuff since they hosted us last night and we just wanted to be helpful. So we did that. We hit the grocery store on the way home. The kids are both exhausted. They didn't get to bed probably, Henry probably even later so than Briar, but she didn't get to bed until at least 10.30 last night, which is very late for her. So they're both very tired. Both are very hungry. Neither one of them have really had anything substantial for breakfast this morning. So Rob's downstairs making breakfast. I have Briar in the tub. My in-laws yard is kind of like dusty, like muddy. It's like, it's not muddy. It's just like the dusty dirt, you know? So I think everybody's probably just covered in it from the kids playing and especially them this morning. So I have Briar currently in the tub. Um, I'm gonna feed her when she gets out and probably lay her down for a nap. Henry's probably gonna do the same. We have a pool party to go to, I would assume probably closer to two o'clock this afternoon. So I really want the kids to be able to have some time and rest before we go. Um, my eyebrows are looking wild. So that is kind of the breakdown of the morning. Um, last night was such a blast. My husband and I just got a kick out of seeing all of his home videos from whenever he was just a little little guy. It's funny to see just how much our kids actually look like him, seeing him in action as a child. It's really fun. So that is the situation this morning. Um, it is Sunday. I don't know if I said that yet, but happy Sunday. Thank you for being here. So it's currently Monday evening. And I just realized that I never signed off yesterday and I kind of just dropped off on vlogging. So I wanted to just real quickly while I have a moment, sit here and talk about last night. So we went to the family pool party. It was like a kid's pool party. So it was basically like all of the younger kids of the family came to, sorry, I'm watching her because she's eating a cucumber right now. Um, came to the pool party to like swim and hang out and socialize and stuff like that before the, su the summer is actually over because everybody's gonna be starting school very soon and so they my family just kind of wanted all the kids to get together okay so um we went to that and it was fun briar has a really has a nasty cough her brother also has a cough um which i think i've talked about a little bit throughout the week and so um she just really wasn't feeling herself so we really didn't stay all that long and we didn't really get she didn't get a lot of pool time because of that so, um, I didn't really get to vlog very much because I was really hands-on with her and the pool and, you know, all of that. So, I apologize that I didn't get to share more of that like I had originally planned, but, you know, those things happen. So, um, currently, I just got done making dinner, which my son's plate is still sitting there untouched, so I will show you and tell you what it is. Um, but I wanted to get on here real quick before I start editing this last vlog so that I can... Sign off, but let me show you what I made for dinner tonight since we're still carrying on with this vlog. <laughs> okay, so I made a Greek style chicken with tzatziki sauce and then I paired it with a cucumber and watermelon and feta salad. This is my son's plate. So I didn't put any feta on top of his salad yet um, because I figured he could do that himself if he wanted it. Um, but it was so light and delicious. This watermelon, it's the Black Diamond Watermelon, which if you've never bought one of those, I highly, highly recommend because they are always top-notch the best. They have no seeds and they're always the sweetest. But I wanted to go ahead and jump back on to sign off because we have some running around to do that is going to correlate with tomorrow. So I wanted to fit in one last weekly vlog before school starts and, you know, all that craziness. So that's the situation thanks for hanging out with me i hope that you enjoyed it um i also already posted as of today right this minute i just posted my puppy chow video so if you're interested in seeing the recipe for that and wanted to hear how it went check that out over there i'll also link that above for you <clears throat> 
Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm so glad that you are here. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.